Hello there, this is Xiao, and welcome to another VoxFX PSA. Today's topic, following along with my videos. Now, my tutorials cover a whole bunch of different topics, like I've talked about various sound design things, different recording techniques, performance techniques, things that you could do for mixing, stuff like that. There's a wide variety of content. And I like to think that I give pretty good advice. That's up to you guys to decide, I don't know. But I will say this though, watching my videos only does you so much good. You're not getting the full experience from them. You're not getting everything you need to know. You're only learning part of it. So you're thinking like, how do I get the rest? Simple, follow along. You have to do the techniques yourself. Now, why would you think that's necessary? Oh, I could just watch your videos and listen to it. It's like, and I understand, but do you really, do you really understand how something works until you've done it yourself? People learn more by doing. You get a much stronger understanding of a given concept if you've applied it somehow. That's why like if you're in school, you have to do like homework Work or labs so that you can actually apply the things that you've learned and get a better understanding of what the stuff actually is and how it actually works. Because honestly, if you just listened to it and just heard someone talk at you, 90% of it would go in one ear and out the other. And that's not helpful to you. So you learn so much more by just doing it yourself. And there are some things that you have to learn from experience. There are some things that I just simply can't tell you. There are some things that I wouldn't think to cover, but are important nonetheless. And you learn those things by applying what you've learned. It's also important to note that while I try to make my tutorials, as I say, platform agnostic, meaning you can use them with any software or hardware that you have, you still have to figure out how to do that. You still have to take my tutorials, my suggestions, and customize them to your situation. Like you could be producing on like Ableton Live on a Mac, and recording with like a Rode NT1 microphone and listening back on like Yamaha studio monitors. That is a completely different setup from what I have. But you can use the techniques that I taught you to do the exact same stuff with your setup. You just gotta figure out how to do it. And that's something that I can't tell you how to do because your setup is completely unknown to me. So you have to figure it out for yourself. And I know that you can do it, you guys are smart. And there's one other thing you need to keep in mind about online tutorials. YouTube and pretty much every other video streaming service makes it very hard to hear subtle changes. What you're hearing is a recording of the audio from my DAW compressed into video form, so that's H.264 MP4 compression, and that is further compressed by YouTube, streamed over the internet, over whatever internet connection you may have, and listened back through your speakers, which could be vastly different from mine. All of those steps degrade and change the signal, which makes it extremely hard for you to hear like the subtle EQ changes that I was making in the how to equalize a vocal video, or being able to hear the application of a compressor or subtle saturation, things like that. It's very hard to notice those things over the internet. So it really helps to do those things yourself so you can hear exactly what those things sound like firsthand. So in short, don't just listen, do and learn. Anyway, that's about it for this video. If you liked what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions about following along with my videos, comment below. I'm always open for questions. And if you'd like to request a VoxFX tutorial, please send me a message. Remember, if it's talky, I can talk about it. Now, I'm gonna be pretty busy over the next couple weeks, so I'm gonna be releasing mainly VoxFX PSAs, if that. I'll do my best to release a video next week, though. So until then, have fun and keep making sound.